Hello Flutter developers, welcome to my channel about Flutter. In today's video, we will be seeing how to load a PDF from Firebase Storage. Uh, here you on the screen you see there are three different platforms, iOS, Android and web. And you see a screenshot of each of these and you see how we can, uh, so this is a screenshot of my uh, PDF of my talk uh, that I gave earlier. A uh, couple of months ago and uh, clicking on the open PDF button we will launch it into a PDF so let's get started okay so here's my uh, companion uh, article about how to load PDF from Firebase storage and so in this code recipe we will be going off over four things first we will review the Firebase project and configuration setup the rules and then uh, the check the availability of PDF like uh, we have to upload the PDF in the Firebase storage that we will be downloading later in our app and uh, fetching a, a Firebase to, uh, PDF from Firebase storage uh, uh, on the uh, on targeted platform and then checking out the code which is responsible for loading that PDF so just a note for you guys uh, if you run into the issues, the permission issues, make sure you refer this article about Firebase login. So on Android platform, I noticed it needs a, a user to be logged in before you can access the any file, uh, the PDF file. So here are the screenshots. Uh, again, it, so this is um, the UI from my code recipe. So that I added the new menu item here, loading PDF, uh, clicking on it, uh, it will launch the PDF, the first screen for Android, and this is the second screen. This is it opens up in the uh, my slides in a PDF file. And here, this is iOS. Here's the same uh, layout. And right here is the second screen. And on the web, right here. Okay, so the first I want to uh, show you quickly the uh, dependencies we need for this uh, exercise. Uh, so as you see, one thing we need, the HTTP uh, plugin to download the PDF into our uh, native device. So we need the HTTP and a PDF viewer plugin uh, for our native implementation for Android and iOS. We don't need these things uh, for the web. We need these uh, two plugins only for the web, uh, or, or, or only for the native, for Android and iOS. Uh, HTTP to download uh, the uh, file and flutter underscore pull underscore PDF underscore viewer for viewing the PDF. And the Firebase storage and <clears throat> the dependencies are used to be able to access the um, uh, Firebase storage. Uh, this article is very uh, similar in the um, from the point of view of the uh, Firebase configuration and the Firebase storage rules uh, as we did in the last article about inloading image. So uh, first thing you may want to set up your uh, Firebase project, uh, you can check out these links uh, which takes you to the Firebase uh, setup right here there's a great documentation about it for each platform so I highly recommend going through these links to make sure your project is set up for Firebase and then uh, on the Firebase storage so I uploaded my slides right here so I'm opening here my console.firebase and here I have my slides right here and which you can see right here so I made a PDF of it and I loaded right here. So we will be loading this file into our Android, iOS, and web uh, platforms. And for the rules, you may want to make sure um, you have the read for all if you don't want to enforce the permission. So for all, for my this bucket, uh, I have allowed read to be able to read. But for write, I do not prefer giving the write access unless you're uh, authorized it even for my sample apps so I have rules on my right but for read uh, for me for I want the, this particular recipe to be read without permission so I have given this 
However, for Android, we want uh, you to be logged in. So, uh, okay. So these are the rules. And now let's quickly check into the code structure for loading PDF. So as you see in right in here, here's the file. And this is a file name for Flutter Slides. So Flutter Slides, I have used it uh, just to show you like here I sh show in my Android. So if I open right here, this whole, it goes the this title, the file name, the title, Flutter Slides goes here. So that's the reason uh, this is, this text comes from here. And this is my file name, which is in the Fire Recipe, um, sorry, uh, this is in Firebase. This is my, uh, the path name, PDF slash slides. So this is what it is. Okay. So now, and this is a stateful widget uh, because I need to uh, download my file if, at the, as a first thing. And I need my init state method, which is, a pro, uh, which is available in the stateful widget. So I have used the stateful widget for this code recipe. So what happens when I click the on uh, the load PDF button. So let's check on uh, the, this is my iOS and this is my Flutter cookbook uh, uh, main menu. And I, when I click this, it actually downloads the PDF file in the background right here. So this is what uh, this code get triggers. When I say open PDF, then it goes and it opens the slides. It, it loads the slides from my native uh, SDK. So I'll show you what happens right now. So first thing it does loads from Firebase. So it loads from the file, it fetches from the Firebase and it then it does depending on what platform you are running in, it creates the file from PDF URL. So if you are running uh, your code uh, on the native, then it's actually get created, the file got created on your native desk as uh, so fs file and we get the path so when we load the pdf it actually loads from our local uh, desk however when it's the web it's actually the url so on uh, so i just open the url in another tab so let's see here what we do here so that's what is the open this is a code of open uh, pdf or launch pdf so it passed the Flutter Slides text and I am I pass both path, PDF and PDF URL, both of them. And now I use the same plugin based uh, architecture. So what it is, it uses the Flutter uh, Slides, the launch slides, and I have the implementation for both three platforms. So one is un unsupported. So when the platform is not supported, is unknown, if it's not web iOS or Android, it goes here and it throws exception platform not found. If it's web, it picks the web counterpart and if it's uh, the mobile, it picks the mobile. So this launch file implementation is the, uh, the, the declaration of the method that they have the same methods. However, they have different implementations. So as you see in the unsupported PDF, there is every, the launch PDF, and load from Firebase and create file from PDF is says platform not found. Now let's check out in web underscore PDF. So in the beginning, what it does, it creates, uh, it loads from the Firebase. So it uses the Firebase storage plugin right here. And it's the source code for this is right here. And again, it's in the same repo. This is my custom plugin as well that we have covered in our older recipes how we do it and then this load from uh, storage returns a URI in this case however it returns if uh, different it returns a file in a different uh, case uh, in, in the native platform for example and it cre it create file from PDF so it takes the dynamic URL which is a URI in this case and it returns back to the uh, right here so it's right here so it create so it fetches the file from firebase and create the pdf from file so in the web implementation it just returns the uri 
However, it's a, it's a file which is returned in the native implementation as you can see right here. So let's go back to our implementation details. So now we saw in the web, it's just a URL and the URL displayed in a tab. And in the, uh, here, uh, this is a native, this is a mobile underscore PDF, which is same for Android and iOS. As you see in the load from Firebase, it's a, uh, it fetches the file uh, from, the fire, uh, from the Firebase and it hand it, hands over to the create file from PDF URL. So it takes the URL, it, it's the same URL download URL returned right here too. And then it takes it and it names it, say Flutter Slides. So I did it on purpose. I just wanted to use one name and sometimes the file name could be really funny and which may not say, make sense for to create a, uh, a dynamic naming. So I just hard coded here, but in your case, you can have a different strategy to provide a local file name. And this is where I'm using the HTTP client, the HTTP um, plugin to download that file. And then I got downloaded my file in the application uh, document directory. This is provided by the path provider, a plugin uh, as, as we did in our older uh, tutorials. And it creates a file on the disk and returns this file back to the in init method. And then uh, that's how my file is available at this point. And once it uh, returns the file, so the launch PDF button. So as you see in the web and this is in the say in Android. So what happens here, the open PDF is the launch PDF. So once you click this, it's actually gets the file from the disk and it's displays here. And in the web, what it does, let me close the older. It when the, you say open PDF, it opens the PDF in a site tablet is in the browser tab, sorry, in the browser tab. Okay, so now going back here. And this, what, what was this? So how did it, uh, let me close my simulator. Okay, so what's in here? Um, how, what this screen is? So this screen is the PDF screen. This is a PDF viewer that we have uh, download, uh, that's supported or powered by flutter underscore full underscore pdf underscore viewer so this is a pdf viewer we use the plugin for this and so it's a very simple plugin is just we pass the pdf path which is the path of the local file on the disk and uh, we pass the pdf title if we want so pdf title is this if you want to change a different name and pdf url and the path so just for the um, the keeping things the similar it though PDF URL is not needed here all it needs the PDF path so you really don't need this one unless you want to know where the file is or you want to implement a different strategy to uh, navigate to the URL okay so that's pretty much it does so here in the from the create file from PDF URL it just opens it so let me quickly jump over to the code and show you the different depending plugins too so this is my code that we just saw right here. And this is the main method. So it lo load launch file, load from Firebase. It launches, uh, sorry, it loads from Firebase the download URL. So the uh, my Firebase is actually gives the download URL. For the mobile implementation, it gives, it goes inside the Firebase storage plugin, which is if I click here, it's my custom plugin right here. And it has the, we are looking at our mobile implementation first. So as you see, it's returning the cat download URL from the Firebase storage. So that's how everything is uh, working together. And now uh, let's go back in here and go back in here and now see the web. Web is simply returning the URL. And now go back and lo load PDF. And once it's here, it creates the file for mobile. It creates a file 
and we know the path right so once it's we know the path we store in a local variable so that our launch pdf or open pdf button knows about this pdf url and this pdf path so now look for our open path or open pdf button which is right here and you see here right here the launch pdf so it goes it has its own implementation for the different platforms on mobile platform the launch pdf button actually opens a new pdf screen so this is a widget powered by pdf viewer and it opens takes the pdf path the native path and it opens it on the web what it does it simply provides the url and you see it opens the pdf URLs. so again it's powered by url utils is a different uh, plugin a custom plugin url launcher so for web it opens the html uh, it, it opens in that in another tab so that's how everything is coming together and as we see this is our web implementation and this is android and ios i just closed it so again um, again if you have any questions let me know uh, and uh, your feedback is uh, to very welcome and if you want me to make different videos about different articles uh, different topics please let me know below in the comments and thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video thank you